And then we'll line this up over here. Why is this? Wait. No. Right, right. Um. Needed to do this first. Okay, now we're gonna do the pipe junctions here. Okay, something's attacking me. That guy over there. Wait, I... Okay, so I did this wrong. I'm supposed to connect to this. Alright. Come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Let's connect these. So this is kind of a tight fit. Now, I do have access to these valves, except <laughs> I need rubber. Oh, whatever. This is, is only four megawatts. So, next, power poles. These will connect it like that. Now we need to do the conveyors. need to zoop it two, two three four wait it actually needs to be straight there we go Connect here. Yes, it does. Okay, now we put down the splitters. There's one, two, and three. Oh, something is in the water. And this goes over here.
then we're gonna put a splitter over here. Merger over here. Okay, there's no space for the uh, power poles. Hey, can I put connect this in series? No, I can't. Okay, so we do need those power poles. I just get up here. Bring it up here. Six, seven, and eight. Our inventory is full. So we just Connect these up. And then we also have the power pole here. Okay, I'm gonna have to blow those gas plants up because I'm gonna install a power tower somewhere here. Space for the power slug. Okay, let's get rid of the brush here. And now I'll take the slug. Oh. Okay, let's put down a power tower. Oh, she's forgot to connect these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the conveyor belts. I think it would help if we connected these. So, uh, what? What? Aren't you not lining up? Yeah, what was up with that? What the hell? Here, next here, here, and there we go.
so we should be good to go. Actually, before we connect this, let's just start this up. Right. So we're going to have to jumpstart this with biomass burners. There we go. And then we're getting water over here. Where it should be. These pumps turned on or they... Oops. I think it would help if we connected this to power. Seems like that would be a really good idea. All right, so let's just connect this over here. Actually, this is kind of a janky power setup. Just put a power tower right here and then connect these. Actually, yes, this is supposed to connect to here. This should connect here. Alright, so we need another biomass burner. So at least get it up and running so that we can start to generate power. And then once it starts getting water, we'll get a lot more production here. You know what? Instead of looking at those numbers, how about I make sure that the water is pumping. Yeah, it's getting water. So, there we go. And it's all coming online. So this is, uh, this is 15 per minute, three, four, five, six. so it's actually 120 per minute, and this supports 240. So technically, we can lower the production here. Save a little bit of power. And we're just not getting enough water in here. Okay, so these are the center nodes. So we just need to wait for all of these to saturate and then we'll be good. Just need to make sure that everything is running properly like it should. Yeah, so eventually everything will get water, and then we just need to connect that. 50. It's yeah, slowly getting more water here. Slowly getting more water here. Okay, 
Okay, at this point in time, I think it is safe to connect this to power. Uh, it's gonna cause a brownout. Probably. Yeah, it did. That's okay, though. At the very least, we have 600 megawatts of power at this point in time, so... That should be enough to cover our power needs. At least until we can get fuel up and running. And I need to not drop down. Or I can just go through here. Since we've already been through here. Is that a purple slug? Ow! I didn't get the purple slug. Oh, I'll get it later. Whatever. What the fuck? Well, don't chase me, bro. Anyway, we need to go in this direction. Uh, we need to reconnect all of our other coal power to the rest of the coal power. power storage I can build. I can build like one more. Now, I really do need to add additional power storage. I'll have to do that later once we get our fuel up and running. And then we can charge these batteries and then not have to worry about power for quite some time. You're not chasing me. So I just need to get to uh, our coal there. So if I could just allow our stuff to charge up over there, or our batteries to charge up, and then I can just let it go, and producing all of the parts for the project assembly, or at least the parts of the last uh, phase of project assembly, because we're going to need those parts anyway for the next uh, iteration. Anyway, let's just... You know, I can actually blow this up now. How is this not blowing up? Listen to the rhythm. Like, I'll get that later. Right now, we have something to reconnect here. Okay, so it's this power line that needs to connect to this one. at 65% so okay so we have seven hours to work with roughly in the meantime it is powering up uh, our production over there oh 
was a good call to make more of those power storages over there. Oh, it's breaking even. Slightly going down, but otherwise breaking even. So now we have time to get our fuel power up and running. Just take a ride here. Also need to check to see if our anything else was disconnected because I did uh, remove a few power lines. Okay, our stator production is okay. It's just not getting enough resources at this time, but otherwise it is working correctly. Yeah, so we have four hours to work with. Okay, let's get our... Uh... Power production up and running. Our fuel power. Oh, I see some red. I see a little bit... No, never mind. That It's orange and it's... The smelters over here. So it looks like everything is working correctly, except that area over there. Oh, I think that those are just the bio burners. Oh, those are red. Huge swaths of red. I do need to reconnect this. Cable production over there. Oh, can I not get through? Ah, oh, damn it. So everything looks to be working here. Yeah, everything's working. All right, so now that we have that going on. Uh, I'm gonna put the rest of the biomass that I have into here. Okay, so this is wood. And this, I already used up the leaves. Okay, so we need motors and we need rubber. You know, it comes to think of it, when I pass by the that section over there, probably should have gotten some rubber, unless we just weren't making enough. I do have a lot of storage for the plastic and rubber. Mostly plastic because we're going to need a lot of that. I just want to build up that stockpile of plastic and rubber just for later. Here's our plastic. And here's our rubber. Oh, that's right. Uh, we don't have that much rubber yet. But otherwise, this is working. And 
And then we are storing up all this fuel here. It is almost filled up. But eventually we will be like using up this heavy oil. Alright, so it looks like everything is in working order. So let's get a little, uh, some of this rubber here. We should have enough now, hopefully. Still not enough. I will bring some plastic with us because we're just gonna eventually need it. So we need a hundred sixteen if my math math checks out. I hope my math checks out. You know, just get a little bit more. Yeah, hundred twenty. It probably is a hundred sixteen, but. If I get it wrong, even by one, I'm gonna have to come back here and get more anyway, so might as well just get a little bit more extra. Just keep in mind, we don't really need that much rubber. Like, it's mainly the plastic that we need, and that's why I have the storages like that. That's why I have the refineries producing more plastic than rubber. Yeah, my mask checked out. You know, I'm just gonna store the plastic here. Oh, that's a lot of copper sheets. I'll take like one of this. And there we go. I'll keep like two in with me. Just in case. And then the motors will get the uh wherever I'm making the motors, I think it's like all the way over there. You know, I really do need to make the hypertube network. So this is... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, we were making rotors over here. And then the staters were being brought in. Oh, we still need to make an entire section for the rotors over there so that we can produce motors faster. It is my honor and privilege to inform you that the fuel-powered generator, as well as the industrial fluid buffer, are now available. 
Due to a lack of gold in your sector, rubber. Caterium will be required to construct the fuel powered generator. Additional research and development oh, related Caterium. to this new material can be done in the MAM. Haven't really done much with Caterium, but now I do need them at this point in time. Alright, so let's go find Caterium.